Oh yeah, today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to be able to make your own awesome looking artwork with this skull as an example. And believe me, it's not as hard as you might think or expensive. So let's get stuck into it. Now being away with work while I was filming this or creating this artwork, this bad boy, I was uh, pretty much limited with the tools I could use. So uh, I would normally use a plastic scraper or plastic spatula here, but uh, metal one was all I could come up with. So um, it's what I had to use. And as you can see, I'm just pretty much keeping the paint that's on that spatula. I will wipe it away in a minute, but um, I'm pretty much using that paint and I'm going to start to just scrape it down. You've seen me squeezing it straight from the tube earlier in the video, and now I'm going to start wiping a little bit of that excess paint away because I don't want to contaminate too much of the art, uh, the paint that I'm scraping down the canvas. And like I said earlier, I'd rather use a plastic trowel or spatula to be able to be uh, smearing this paint, I should use that as a better term, as opposed to scraping the paint down the canvas. That way I'm not going to damage the canvas at all, where I could possibly do that with this metal one. Um, now I'm still just smearing that paint down. I'm, a lot of the times I'm just using, I'm not wiping that excess paint away. And now, as you can see, I'm just adding paint as I go along. I've got a black introduced now, so I'll start to um, just pretty much squeeze that straight from the tube onto the canvas and smear that down. Now even though I do have some lighter colours in this assortment of acrylics, I just want to stress that I'm going to pretty much give this guy the attitude by adding those darker moody colours. And uh, this is why I'm introducing more black, the darker reds and the darker blues. That way it's going to start to really get that gritty look as you'll see shortly. Now, after saying that, I actually started adding more white. But anyway, we're going to start to make our, we're going to start introducing our splatters, and uh, the splatters are going to give it that little bit more of a gritty look that I mentioned earlier. Now you only want to make this paint down to a slurry, so don't add too much water that becomes too transparent once it hits the canvas. You still want to leave, en leave enough pigment in there so that it actually makes a statement once it hits the canvas. Again, I'm making up another slurry in the darker colours, and like I said, I'm starting to really want to build that darker look and uh, get that moody look happening. Now you are going to make a mess with these splatters, so make sure that you've got a workspace that you can either leave the splatters there, otherwise catch them early while they're wet, otherwise they're a nightmare to clean off. Now I've broken out the good old black marker here to be able to draw my outline of a skull over my dry paint. Uh, don't panic if you don't have great drawing abilities, because you can just go and find a skull you like, and then just trace that straight onto the canvas. Now I'm not making this up completely from my imagination, I am actually using a reference, a photo reference from one of my earlier artworks uh, that I painted before I started my own YouTube channel, the Aussie Bonehead. Now don't let that big grin fool you, he is a rather sinister looking chap. And as you can see I'm using those eye sockets as my reference for this particular painting. And now that I'm happy with that skull outline, I'm going to start to do the background, which I'm just going to mix some black and some dark blue together, and it's also going to help me out with that composition. It's going to bring the skull forward and start to let me really get a feel for that moody look that I was talking about earlier. <laughs> Now, 
Now I mix that black and blue together very, very loosely. That way I'm gonna have a good array of darks and blues, or let's say dark hues and lighter hues around the canvas. And I'm just using a, I think it's around about a 15 or 10 mil flat brush. Um, not that that really makes any difference as to what you're gonna use. And now I do apologize, it looks like I've painted the eyes in, but uh, as you can see, I've just used a black and the same for those elongated teeth. And uh, as you can see, I'm just using the side or the edge of the brush and just dragging that down over the canvas to be able to, let's create that awesome look. Now let's give our bad boy some attitude with some nice looking, let's say angry looking eyebrows. Again, just using the side of the brush and I'm just dragging that over the canvas. Now I like to paint the edge of the canvas, that way if I'm gonna hang it straight on the wall, it's gonna look cool and it doesn't really need any frame. Now to add just a little more interest to the background, I thought I'd add some white highlights. Now it's always good to bear in mind that acrylics will dull down when they dry on the canvas, as you can see there. So don't freak out if you put something on uh, for future reference on, onto the canvas and it's really stark because it will dull down. Now I'm just going to paint a little bit more black in the eye sockets. And the great thing about this is because I caked on the paint so much, it really it actually cracked later on, which gave it an awesome look. Now I'm just transitioning to portrait mode here because I was taping uh, the uh, initial concept for a short. And um, yeah, I thought I'd add it to this just so that you could get where I came from with the concept. Um, I've just broke out the textures, I've got an A4 piece of paper, and I'm just starting to get that idea from my head onto the page. Now you can spend as much time as you like on this bad boy to be able to really bring out his skull bones, his forehead, give him that real angry attitude. But what I really wanted to emphasize is just how easy it is to be able to create something great without having to have, let's say, 10 years of art experience.